Hello, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming here. I want to thank you for your patience. We had been in contact with our friends in Ukraine all the way through the afternoon, and then they went offline for a while prior to the performance, and they have not been able to come back on. So we never quite know what's going on there. We do have a pre-recorded stuff just in case that would give you the same experience that they were planning. Uh, and uh, so uh, I'm very sorry that we might not be able to connect to them uh, tonight for all of you, uh, but uh, we will have their presentation to show you from um, the bomb shelter where they've created this work. So uh, we all understand, I guess, there's a war on. <laughs> so uh, we appreciate your indulgence. So now that that bit of business is taken care of, this is what I really plan to say. <laughs> Welcome to the Winchester Dendero Cultural Center at Clark, in Clark County, Nevada, USA, on planet Earth, the ancestral land of the Las Vegas Paiute tribe. From the Paiutes dating back to 1100 AD to the asylum seekers of today, our community is a home to many displaced people. According to the census of 1870, Nevada had the highest population of foreign-born residents in the nation, and just at just over 44% of the population being foreign-born at the time. Since the 1970s, Las Vegas' population has diversified further, largely due to refugee resettlement in the area, in direct reaction to the spread of war and other kinds of unrest around the globe. When I was a newcomer to Las Vegas, I had another kind of haven as an artist here, when I was welcomed by the Asylum Theater 20 years ago. We're one of the longest running theater companies, and this is over our 25th, or it's our 25th and a half anniversary. So 25 years for a serious professional theater company in Southern Nevada is something I don't think most people realize you have here. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Art transcends boundaries and reaches into war zones. When the shelling began, pro-English theater transformed their small, independent space into a shelter that, others, that offers relief to Ukrainians by day, while still creating works of art under bombardment. Recently, the sirens have started to sound again over Kyiv with more regularity. They thought they had had a break. Maybe there's something like that right now. The asylum reached out through our own international playwright network and offered a lifeline to our colleagues in the earliest days of the war. Tonight, Las Vegas Theater makes history as we have connected them to you to help preserve the future of their culture by witnessing their work. Destruction of cultural heritage is a war crime. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has, in place, has placed the ongoing global refugee crisis front and center. Thankfully, there are service organizations to awaken our impulse for generosity and make it easy to put the kindest part of the human spirit into action. The Asylum Theater knows local arts are important partners for the greater nonprofit and civic engagement in our community. And we're proud to help educate the public about where to learn more about, about asylum seeking and support services on our website and out in front. Tonight, we wanted to celebrate the diversity, not only of our residents, but our creative community. We're grateful for the leadership that Commissioner Seeger Blom has shown in recognizing the creative workforce by sponsoring this event. And we're grateful for the vision of Winchester director Irma Varela, who's helped make this happen. Irma is a true gem here in Southern Nevada, trust me. Yes, she deserves applause. Each piece of music, theater, dance, and film and poetry is by local artists who have a relationship to the issues of war and refuge. Over 40 performers and a dozen companies have come together to honor free expression and share their work. Each of our collaborators also serve in normal times as people on the strip entertaining you, event professionals, and educators. And they're all part of the creative ecosystem that helps us advance, live, laugh, and love in peace as a community here in Southern Nevada. The asylum is a sanctuary for their expression, an ambassador to artists like Pro English, and a home for you. The arts are for everyone, and tonight, it's all for you. Thank you. Guerra, war, a noble art, 
a game of betrayal. Good morning and good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Borovensky. I'm the artistic director and theater director of the Book of Sirens, an artistic director of Pro English Theater. And I feel strange because we are the small independent theater in English in Ukraine. And normally, before every show, we would polish this place. We would make it, you know, just super clean and everything. But now we don't have to do it because for months this place, our artistic space, has been a bomb shelter. And people actually sleep there. Here on this sofa, this is the place for Raisa Grigorina. Mm -hmm. She normally slept there for months. She's a lady from upstairs, wonderful, very educated lady. And uh, in exchange, for hosting her in the premises of our theater, we go to take shower at her place. You know, exchange. Uh, there, in that corner, which you cannot see, normally we would host Katya, who is the nurse. She is uh, looking after the old lady upstairs who cannot walk. And Katya would sleep there because she's very scared of any sound of sirens. She would come there three times per day to our place, then go back because there is no shelling. Right now, it's the only uh, bed that we had to move because right now there is uh, Valerie life. Our helper and Valerie will play live music at the performance and I'm very thankful to Valerie because she can play and normally in her normal life Valerie would teach accent and singing and right now she plays music in our corner that's the point here plays here we would have Misha the engineer in his normal life Misha normally uh, develops airplanes for civilians uh, these days Misha was fixing our space. Misha was kind of our god in terms of, you know, having the space living. Here we would have Jenya and his wife, uh, and Jenya is the teacher of music. And he came here with the piano. Are we using the same piano? Yeah. yeah? Okay, anyways, we have many pianos here with the teacher, you know. Uh, here is Annabelle, our nearest, and she's an actress. She's not just sitting there, she's gonna perform uh, a story called The Book of Sirens which we developed throughout March 2022 here. I never wanted to do this performance. Actually, well, I love the book. And, uh, well, I think I have to. Because this is, you'll see the show. You'll have your thoughts afterwards. But to me, this performance has a very straight message. Try to guess what the message will be. Anyhow, time to thank, and I'm very grateful to Marcus Zuzek, the Australian writer who wrote the book, the, uh, the book of uh, the... Book thief. The book thief, correct. The book thief, and uh, we heavily used the story in our performance. Marcus, thank you very much. Actor about Fasilinse, the writer from Colombia, and I do believe that he has to receive Nobel Prize one day. We're actually using the extract from his book, uh, Forgotten We Shall Be, and we're actually using his books in Ukrainian translation a lot throughout the show, Actor, Muchas Gracias. Uh, also, for the guys, we have, I'm grateful for you guys coming here, and here we have the inhabitants of Shelter, our friends and artists who came here as a live audience, because it's, we didn't have it for a month, for more than a month. People watching theater performance, I have no idea how it's gonna be. Well, thank you very much. But a little bit of disclaimer for you and for us watching, uh, for you guys watching us online. This show will be using the Soviet announcements on the radio and some sound of sirens. And these days it can be quite traumatic for the audience. Be aware. Then, it's a mono performance and Annabelle Ramirez is uh, going to perform it all. She's my favorite actress. We'll see. <laughs> And the performance is like 30, 35 minutes. And we will keep the streaming of this performance on our page until the war is over. I think it's very important that you guys see and get these feelings inside. Because this is kind of like a story in a story. We perform a story of a bomb shelter from a bomb shelter. So we try to put all this 
our trivial ideas how do we live here into the story. And the story is very simple. Imagine a little town of Malking, little German town of Malking, from 1939 until 1945. And in the middle of this period, uh, this town gets bombed. The author, Marcus, doesn't specify which planes, but it doesn't matter, because every little town reacts the same. Every person suffers and dies the same way. So, this is our story, The Book of Sirens. And to conclude it all, I want to remind you guys, Russia, these days, is trying to take over Ukraine. There is a war in Ukraine. Enjoy the show. here. When I arrived, I could still hear the echoes. The feet tapping on the ground. The children, voices, laughing. And then, bombs. This time, everything was too late. All too late. The cuckoo shrieks in the radio, the sirens. All too late. Within minutes, mounds of concrete and earth were stacked and piled. The streets looked like ruptured veins. Was it? Was it misfortune? Of course not. Let's not be stupid. It probably had more to do with Harold bombs thrown down by humans hiding in the clouds. Yeah. The sky. 